يثبت الله الذين آمنوا بالقول الثابت في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة. They had been taken away, mahzuf from the book. Then really, um, I, my head was circling. It, I was shocked. Then I again looked at the book's title. And I, I found the name Al-Imam Al-Allama Muhammad Nasiruddin Al-Albani. Sheikh Asad Sagarji's class fellow. <laughs> he has done research work on Imam Bukhari's Al-Adab Al-Mufrad. He has done takhreej, research, on Imam Bukhari's reported ahadith, he has done a research. And what he did, just to save himself and the publishers, instead of writing the exact name of the book, Al Adab al Mufrad, he made Sharh Sahih al Adab al Mufrad. He added the word Sahih al Adab al Mufrad. It means any hadith what he according to his view and aqeedah is not sahih now he can take it out of imam bukhari's al-adab al-mufrad and he is saying that imam bukhari wrote a book on adab al-mufrad and included all sahih ghair sahih daif and modu everything mazallah in it and now almighty allah has given me tawfiq i have now corrected imam bukhari's work and i have taken the modu and daif hadith out and now i have made the imam bukhari's book now this is sahih This distortion, this amendment, this tahrif, this deletion to take away some ahadith which are against the zakida. For this particular license, he added the word Sahihul Adab al Mufrad. As if Imam Bukhari was not Sahih. Imam Albani is Sahih. استغفر الله العظيم uh, one guy who in one of his recordings he put his kitab al albani up the adab al mufrad uh, so youtube if you watch him uh, he mentions it you will know he, who he is he's one pakistani sheikh uh, Tahir Al Qadir, I think his name is called. <laughs> he, he he talks about the book Adab Al Mufrad. Adab Al Mufrad, and he brought it, and then at the beginning it says Sahih Adab Al Mufrad, and you know who made it Sahih. Mm -hmm. Ha, and then he goes, um, this is Sahih Adab Al Mufrad, by who? Albani. Like Bukhari wasn't Sahih. <laughs> well, like any individual who has hatta, sometimes you know, it's not as the poet said. It is not befitting for the mind if the sun needs a proof. If we debate about the sun that's out there in the open, it's there, prove it. Well, it's there, prove it. And we're discussing the, some things that are better here. They don't need to be discussed. It's just clear cut. What the question that comes is, is did Bukhari condition his kitab Adab al Mufrad authenticity? Because we know he did that in his Sahih. Just because he's the same author doesn't mean all his works is going to do the same thing. He's like, Bukhari. He's just, he wrote this Sahih Bukhari. So that means every book he wrote, he wanted it to be authentic. Some books he just wrote it. All the narrations, he didn't consider it. Whether it's authentic or not, it's not. You with me? So this issue, for him, the way he was looking at Albani was mutashaddid. And other ones, they used it, they go against him as a mutasahil. But as I said, this issue is amru nisbi. It's a matter that differs from people to people. But we show that Sheikh al was a man of manhajiyah. He had a methodology that was strong.